Hi lovelies, today I would like to share four recipes for my favorite healthy lattes. So the first one that I usually take with me in this cup right here is my matcha latte. Matcha is really full of antioxidants. It's a lot healthier than coffee, but has the caffeine. It also releases caffeine very slowly over a period of time. So it doesn't just give you this huge high and then you drop down low, but it has this nice and steady energizing effect that I like. In order to make the most yummy matcha latte, I take about a teaspoon of matcha, put some hot water on it, and I actually like to stir it with a whisk. I have an electric whisk, which of course I made a mess here. I accidentally took a fast setting and I just stir it for one or two minutes until it becomes very foamy and the little clumps are dissolved. You can add sweetener as you desire. I love this one with maple syrup and I also love to add vanilla. It just gives it some more flavor and I think it fits. It's a little bit of bitterness, but it also has this nice caramelly sweetness from the maple syrup. I then add some milk foam and you can take dairy milk, but you can also use any milk you desire, almond milk or cashew milk, I love a lot and that's pretty much all it's fast and it's just the best thing when you're out and about and you need some energy but also need a healthy boost of antioxidants my second recipe for one of my favorites of all times that i actually just discovered a few months ago is rooibos latte it does not contain caffeine so you can drink it whenever morning noon or evening, I happen to have a strong reaction to caffeine, so I don't usually drink caffeine after lunch anymore. And all I do is just, I take a teaspoon or two of rooibos, just the regular kind, no flavors, just the natural, and I just let it sit for about five to 10 minutes, depending on how strong you want it to be. And all I do then is just add my milk and I do also love to add my maple syrup and vanilla to that one. I think vanilla really goes so well with rooibos. It also has this nice, kind of a little bit of a caramelly fresh flavor to it. And I just love this. I have it almost every single day. Also tastes amazing iced. The next two recipes are really awesome for at nighttime they have a calming and soothing effect. So the first one is lavender chamomile latte. Lavender is just wonderful. It is a flower, but it also tastes, it's, it tastes bloomy, very much like a healthy kind of tea. I don't know how to describe it. So I just take a teaspoon of each lavender blossoms and chamomile. I happen to not have chamomile on hand, so I had a blend of chamomile and different herbs, but it also goes well with that. Adding some blueberries to the mix will help you have some more fruity flavor, but at the same time, give this a wonderful purple color. I put it in a French press because then it's easy to strain it all out and to also press the blueberries slightly so they release some of their juices. Letting it sit for about 10 minutes assures that it's a nice, strong flavor. And then all you need to do is pour it and add some milk foam of a milk of your choice. I think cashew milk is just so great on a lot of things because it is not as strongly nutty tasting as almond milk. To me, it has more sweetness and it's also very creamy. Uh, dairy milk also works and you can add sweetener as desired. I actually like it not sweetened so much because when I drink it before I go to bed, sugar just boosts your insulin level and I don't really want to do this before I go to bed. It's so yummy and also tastes great on ice. Lastly, and this is something I've only discovered recently, is maca moon milk. It's called moon milk because it's also a calming effect. Maca is an awesome adaptogen, which means it balances out your hormones. Maca has this nice, caramelly, nutty flavor, and I think it smells great. I just love it. I put it in my smoothies a lot, but in this case, I just, add it to some hot milk. So I add some maca powder, some ginger powder, and some cinnamon, and 
also some coconut oil. It just gives it a little bit of a coconut flavor and also adds some healthy fats. It's better for your body than to digest and to really break down all the nutrients. And again, you can use a milk of your choice. I really grew up on dairy and I use raw milk most of the time and it just has a different taste and texture to it than store-bought milk. And in order to get some nice foam on there, you just want to put it in the blender, blend it for a couple of minutes and it turns out nice and creamy and fluffy and I think it tastes great. Add sweetener as desired. Again, I'm a big friend of maple syrup because I just love that taste. It doesn't just taste sweet, but it has its own flavor. And I think it also goes together so well with the maca flavor, that slight caramelly flavor. And yeah, just drink that any time of the day, but I love it at nighttime, especially in the winter. It's, to me, it's nice and cozy. It's a great alternative to hot chocolate, which is also great if you make it from your own ingredients from scratch. So these are my four recipes for my favorite lattes that are healthy, that are alternatives to coffee. If you don't want to drink coffee every day, or maybe you don't even like coffee, please let me know what your favorite is and what you would like to try out. Give the video a thumbs up if you also want more healthy choices in life. Thank you so much for all of you who returned to my channel and thank you to those who are new to my channel. Consider subscribing and until next time, have a wonderful day, stay healthy and I'll see you soon.